I find I seldom paddle the same place twice. There's just far too much out there to explore. Yet there's a little corner in the wilds of Tomogamy that keeps drawing me back. And it's not just for the peace and tranquility. Tomogamy River is my favorite whitewater run in northeastern Ontario. The section from Thistle Lake to the town of River Valley is full of heart-pounding rapids and cuts its way through breathtaking classic Tomogamy scenery. If you can time your trip with the spring melt or fall flush, you're in for some mega thrills and quite possibly a few spills. It is fall. It is gloomy. And we're going to hit some fun light water. We're on the Tomogamy River and it is almost 7 o'clock. Just going to cruise in about a kilometer to get a campsite for tonight. We'll run some rapids tomorrow. Good morning. We uh, survived the night, snowed a bit, and uh, yeah, now we're gonna head down the river. We can hear the rapids, the first set. I think it's a kilometer away, but we can already hear it. Um, so the flow is probably gonna be a little beefy. Just looking at the water levels around here, it looks like it's up a foot from when I was down here in the summer. We've had a lot of fall rain, so stuff's really flushing right now. We'll definitely see how much is runnable, how much might be sketchy, and go from there. Should be a fun day. Wicked. And let's try to keep the open side up. First big set of the day. And it's kind of like a small falls, really big ledge. I'd say it's about a three meter drop here. The unfortunate part is there's not really a really clear tongue on it. The clear tongue that it kind of comes down ends in a really big hole. So we're gonna try to hit just to river left of the big tongue. Hopefully we're gonna get enough speed and just power on through the big hole at the bottom. Hoo She's going to be unstable as f It's a good drop. I ran it in the summer and we definitely dunked. <laughs> Let's hope these dry suits work. Oh, now I'm getting nervous. Are <laughs> you nervous? Yeah, it only took a few minutes as we were like paddling towards the precipice of these falls. Wow, that's a drop. Oh yeah, dude. That looks pretty good, eh? Yeah, so far. We were off a bit. Yeah. Gorgeous, man! Dude! <laughs> that was unreal! We barely got water in the boat, too. Ha! Huh. Oh, man, that was perfect! 
we hit it like actually that angle that we hit worked out perfectly. Oh, Holy, what a rush. oh my so god. Oh. <laughs> Woo! All right, rapid number two on the tomogamy. Probably like a class one approaching class two. Let's see if these flows drown it out a little bit. It's pretty straightforward run and we go center and then we'll go off to the right and there'll be a ledge. it would be a good warm up run if it wasn't for that last big set we just did. <laughs> Wow, the ledge is drowned. There was a full on ledge there in the summer. Wow, you can even run the middle now. She is high, like Snoop Dogg high. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yee! Wave train! <laughs> nice! We are at the upper end of Island Falls. There's a good, solid class two right here nice tongue at the start then it drops over a ledge and then there's another kind of flushy tongue ledge ready for a little excitement I think so. okay so we'll curl in and then down yeah, it's uh like hailing slash frozen snowing sort of thing of a jigger right now ice pellets so good portage here but um we're gonna run it should be a lot of fun we're here to run rapids, rain or shine, doesn't matter. Let's do it. Not yet, not yet, not yet. Yep. shallower through there, eh? Yeah, we're gonna there. Woo! That was fun though. Yeah, that was good. A little more technical. Yeah. A lot of fun. If you're paddling the tomogamy in an open canoe, you'll have to portage around a few sets of unrunnable rapids and falls. Oh, so Careful. Yeah. There's a few lengthy, well-maintained trails that bypass long series of whitewater, but the river runners can take advantage of some lesser used trails to hop between sets. The footing can be a little treacherous at times, but the views along the way are stellar and worth the effort. Oh yeah. Oh boy, that's a definitely a canyon. <laughs> well, that's one way to do it. Yeah. Huh. You good? Yeah. Okay, it's coming down. Okay. Not bad. You also get in the gear. Okay. Wicked. That could have been a lot worse. Okay, good enough. Yeah, this 
to the part of the river that's really cool. You're absolutely right. There's a little more like campsites and stuff here too. Yeah, and now it's back to Bad Rapids. Yeah. Not a lot of calm water. We'll just kind of flush down here and just watch the strainer at the end. After Island Falls, the Tomogamy cuts through a series of small gorges. There's a few sets of moderate whitewater here, but sets lead into some big drops at Ragged Rapids, and the approach can be quite a bit nerve-wracking. If you don't punch through to the final eddy, you're in for a guaranteed swim. Yeah. Yeah, dude, that sounds like it's raging so hard. Hey, dude. Yep. We'll kind of cruise down to the right a bit and then punch in. We just don't want to enter all this shit. As good as we're gonna be. All right, dude. Do it. Yeah, we'll pick our way through here. Yeah. Good? Yeah, good. Alright. from the shore, eh? Oh that was a blast. I would have run that all day. Oh, Sick. Hell yeah. Yeah, it is sketchy. Yep. That's what I'm saying. Just a wee bit. On what? Yeah. It's going to push us into those rocks. Yeah. Be super like cognizant of everything here. Yeah. This rapid can catch you off guard, and I've flipped here before. A strong cross current through aerated waters wants to push your boat into the rocks. There's only a narrow channel through here, and need to avoid the white aerated water to your right. There's minimal buoyancy here, and a strong reciprocating current that wants to flip your canoe. If you make it this far, there's two back eddies of swirling aerated water to punch through. The river wants to push you into the jagged rock wall on the left shore, and the circular current will take your stern out from beneath you if you're not careful. Whoa. Careful, careful. Nice. Good job. Little sketch.
What an awesome day on the river. We are here on a gorgeous set of falls. Really nice campsite on the point. The sun's kind of going down now, and uh, what an awesome day. Oh, into the sun. Easier way is just catching some wind. Look at other brands are thin. <laughs> the same brand. <laughs> this thing takes so much freaking air though, I can't believe it. It's like almost as thick as me. Yeah. It was uh, five minutes to film to fill it. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Yeah, we're gonna settle in here, warm up, get a fire going, get dinner going, and then tomorrow, still got a few more rapids before we're out of here. Really nice, easy trip. You can do it in, a, in the day, but with fading hours of October, it's just nicer to have more daylight when we get to camp and uh, do it over two nights. So, really awesome trip. This being October, thought it'd be cool to bust out the heated vest again. Kind of an interesting concept, actually. Let's see it's on now. Heat me up. <laughs> Sounded kind of gimmicky at first, but uh, pretty cool. Wearing under like a rain shell or something like that, with this vest especially, it'd keep the uh, core toasty. Wouldn't really want to wear it on the river, I'm not thinking, or I'm thinking. Um, but around camp and stuff, like right now, getting the core nice and warm before we get that fire going, so pretty cool. Good morning. A little bit of a rainy morning here. Windy as well. And uh, Cam and I are about to head down another section of the Tomogamy River here. First up is Laverne Rapids. Starts off with a nice straight easy sort of class one, class two, but it goes around an S bend. And at the end of the S bend, um, there should be a good class three pushy wave or ledge. And then after that, Laverne beyond that, it's either class two plus, class three, and then after that there's another rapid, maybe class three, class four. So we'll see what we can run with these pushy waters today. Pretty chilly, pretty cold, pretty gray, but hopefully the rain stays off for a little bit. The river is running pretty high, so gonna be a fun day out here again. Whoo not gonna lie, I'm definitely... No, not nervous, just feeling like adrenaline right now. First run of the day. Kind of always does that to me. All right, dude. Ready. Should be good. Oh yeah, nice easy class one here. Is there a big drop coming up? <laughs> okay, let's sneak on the left here. Yeah. Yeah, I see that. Actually, we'll go to the right of that rock. Just a little easier line. Can you see it? Yeah. Yeah, we just want to be, so I think our angle's good here. I'm going to kind of angle us. So we're going to kind of pop right down, okay? All right. We'll avoid this first hole.
I was hoping we could I was hoping we could get out of that. Ha! That was fun though. That was a good spell. There's a few sneak lines on Upper Laverne, but besting the tricky high volume line is the most exhilarating way. As the old saying goes, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Right, let's go get wet and keep the open side up. <laughs> at the top of the second part of Learn Rapids and uh, not gonna lie a bit nervous because it's definitely a class three today it's raging pretty hard the unfortunate part is it kind of narrows into a one funnel like we can go other ways but it's either too rocky or it's too aerated and we can't get our line back together problem about this line is again just like the last rapid we ran and we flipped on the upper section there's this weird kind of churning a regular wave that if we don't get our line correct through there and brace properly it could be a bit of a bit of a disaster on our hands here but once we get past that again we're just sailing through a bunch of standing waves and we can breathe a little bit easier so yeah hearts uh, hearts pumping I mean I think the two flips before kind of eroded the confidence a bit but uh, whoo let's do it well no time like the present, man. I'm so nervous. Me too, dude. My, I wouldn't lie to you, I'm feeling pretty nervous about this. Big hole, ready? Yeah. Oh yeah, we're good here. Oh, we hit the bottom. Yes, yes. Yeti here. Oh my god. Holy What a rush. What a rush. We crushed that line. So, we didn't run the last stretch here. Just too many boulders. Looks like a fun run, but uh we get to run the bottom part of it, thankfully. So there's a bit of redemption there. By mid-afternoon, 
a bone chilling rain system had moved in. It's one thing to run rapids on a gorgeous sunny day, but deteriorating weather can make even simple runs tricky. As your core temperature drops, it can be harder to focus on the line ahead. Awesome trip. There's a nice run right here at the takeout, but we are freezing cold because it is pouring rain and it's quite miserable out. So we're not going to run it. But look, this trip was not without some carnage. That's when we flipped. You must have smoked a rock. So it needs a new bow plate. That's an easy gel coat touch up. But yeah, war wounds. Pretty cool run though. Tomago River never disappoints.